are now going to start exercise number 15. Yeah. Practice using distance and angle constraint retrieval. Now, on this lesson, uh, the tutorial packet gives you almost all the instructions. Uh, so just follow along by the numbers and you should be okay. Uh, according to our tutorial packet, we started a new drawing in small objects millimeters. From there, I maximized the top viewport. That's where I'm going to be drawing all my items in, and I'm going to use a polyline. So my first polyline, uh, start a polyline from uh, my tutorial instructions tells me to start it at 11 comma zero. Type that in and you will see I'm down here. It's gonna be at the bottom of the arrow. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna use uh, the relative coordinates to type in R negative two comma negative two uh, and hit enter. And that gives us to the bottom left-hand corner of the arrow on your uh, using distance constraint, we're going to draw a line a certain distance directly to the right. So all I got to do is type in distance and hold down the shift key uh, to lock my mouse control into 90 degree increments and click my mouse when it's directly to the right. Going back to relative, I'm going to type in R1, comma 1. Uh, tell my computer from the point I'm at now, I'm going to go one unit to the right, one unit up. And there's my slanting line. We are now going to use the polar command or the polar uh, entry to draw a line a certain distance at a certain angle. So our instructions tell us to go ahead and type in R11 for the length of line. So uh, using relative, uh, I'm drawing a uh, line 11 units long at zero degrees. So it's gonna draw a line 11 millimeters directly to the right, and there we go. Uh, using distance constraint according to our, our tutorial packet, uh, we're gonna type in the length of our line here, hold down our magical shift button to go straight, and then click our mouse. Oops, wrong key. Uh, and if you do enter something wrong, you can easily hit U and hit enter on the keyboard. Uh, and that does undoes just the last one you do. It doesn't erase anything else except for the very last one. So I'm gonna type one enter again, hold down the shift key, click my mouse. Uh, now all I have to do to finish up is draw that slanted line. So according to my tutorial packer, I type in six comma negative or six comma two and hit the enter key. Now I have to end. All right, and there's a couple of different ways. If you right mouse click or even left mouse click, you could delete the whole drawing. Uh, we don't want the line down the center because uh, of how we're going to copy and mirror this. Uh, so what we want to do is just end our line where it is now. So if we just hit the enter key, it ends the line, but doesn't close it off, and it leaves it an open line, an open object. That's what we want. All right, and that draws the half of the arrow that we're going to do. So our next step is to actually make a copy of this. So we're gonna come up here to the transform menu and we're gonna click on copy. Now the command bar asks us to select object objects to copy. So I only have to click on line, that's what I wanna copy, and I'm gonna hit enter when done. Now the instructions get a little vague here. Uh, our instructions basically more or less say to pick a point near the polyline. Uh, what that means is more or less just click anywhere above it. So you can click any origin point, you can click almost anywhere above here, just not all the way up in the top corner or something like that, just close to our line, uh, and there we go. It, then I'm gonna tell us to type in six for a point to copy to, and then it says turn ortho on and pick above. Uh, ortho, if you hit the shift key, it locks it into an ortho drawing method. So if you ever see ortho or turn ortho on, just hold down a shift key and it locks your mouse in the 90 degree increments. So we're going to hold on to shift key and click our mouse, and there's our drawing. Uh, and then we can hit the done button, or we can hit enter or escape uh, to get out of that so we only have our two halves. And that's how we make a copy. We're now going to make a Miro image of this one down on the bottom. So again, up to my transform menu, I'm going to click on the Miro command, and I'm just going to follow the steps. So it says to select objects to Miro, so I'm going to click on my bottom line. I'm going to hit the enter key because that's the only one I want to Miro. And according to our tutorial packet, we are going to choose origin point or zero. So I type in zero, enter, and now I have my arrow. Now, in order to get this exactly lined up, I'm going to hold, again, the shift key, make sure it's pointing directly to the right, click my mouse, and I now have my completed arrow. So that is part one of lesson 15.